I feel bad for kicking your butt in New Orleans back in the year of 1812. I literally don't think about that war at all, says the UK. I think we here in the US forget what also was going on in the year of 1812 in a different part of the world. You see, there was this little guy called Napoleon back in Europe. Oh, pardon the pun, I didn't really mean that little, I didn't mean that. How could you expect the British to care at all what was happening in America when this giant monster was right next to him? This is so funny because every kid here in the US has a big chapter about the War of 1812 and it's really hammered into our head how big of a deal it is. I bet you anything the British kids in British history books have literally like one small tiny footnote that says we were fighting literally all of Napoleon and oh yeah at the very same time we were fighting this little thing in America. Maybe not exactly like that but yeah I really don't think they Wow, this place is beautiful. I don't want to leave here. Hey, bro, let's get out of here. I ate all the grass in this area. Oh man. Pretty much the life of ordinary nomads throughout history. They were pretty much being leaded by these things. I mean, horses are pretty important. I don't blame them. I mean, there's a reason why nomadic hordes existed in this part of the world for centuries. They kind of were pretty OP, but they did have to listen to their horses. All of the allies during World War II being single-handedly carried by Honduras, who sent a surplus of bananas for the war effort. Do y'all really think we could have won that conflict without a bunch of bananas? Why do you think the Germans lost? One side had bananas, the other didn't. Do I need to explain more? I actually don't know if that's true. I'm pretty sure the other side did not have bananas. I guess I should say they didn't have a lot of bananas. Okay, who's ready to help me invade Czechoslovakia? Meanwhile, Hungary, Poland, Bulgaria, and the Soviet Union all are like, me. But then there's also East Germany that says, Guten Tag, comrade. No, 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 absolutely not you. You're still in timeout. This is pretty much what happened behind the Iron Curtain during the Cold War. Though East Germany was directly next to Czechoslovakia at the time, they are just labeled as logistics support in the belligerence window. I mean, it was 1968. It was more than 20 years after World War II. You'd think they'd be out of timeout by then. I guess they kind of deserved a pretty long timeout. Archaeologists in the early 19th century discovering ancient artifacts and mummies during the Egypto craze, you're gonna make me big, big buckaroos. Wait, what does it say? Oh, big, big buck, buck, bucks. I don't know why I butchered that so bad. I mean, that's what it was really all about. Did you think they were just doing it for the history? Archaeologists, OMG, guys, look at this mummy we just dug up. It's in amazing condition. Meanwhile, the mummy, it actually just looks like a potato. Man, oh man, I can't wait to charge a hundred bucks for people to see this. No, I totally didn't just carve a human face into this random potato. At first we thought T-Rexes looked like this. Then we updated that and figured T-Rexes looked more like this. Now we're on to the next new update. It's been a pretty crazy patch. Very exciting new DLC out of the dinosaur world. I'm glad the devs just keep updating this. This is basically the evolution of our thoughts of what a T-Rex would have looked like. I think we're always going to be trapped into thinking it looked like this though. But we have no no idea. I mean, I've been hearing for a while now that they could have been just giant chickens. Woolly mammoths just chilling. Meanwhile, bipedal primates have rock. It's really just that simple, and I guess they didn't really want to have rocks since they kind of just disappeared. Is this what they say was the big factor that allowed, you know, whatever early humans to grow? We could just like throw rocks at other creatures? Literally as simple as that. You think there's someone worse than a Carthaginian? How about a goal? Good one, Goyle. Ah, I see what he did there. From the Roman perspective, I mean, it's got to be it's gotta be kind of close, right? How about anything is just not Roman. A Germanic tribesman for sure should be on the list. Fun fact, medieval times ended when a European finally went to Brazil. Is this why all Brazilians want everyone on Earth to come to Brazil? Will we immediately get launched into another technological era? Might as well give it a shot. Modern literature, I cheated on you. No, how could you? Then there's medieval literature, want to take a trip to hell, LMAO, yes. And we always talk about it, it was such a good book, the fan fiction became canon. How crazy is that, Dante? Napoleon being exiled to the island of Alba. Meanwhile, Napoleon, literally two seconds later. It's like he can walk under the water. It did take him 100 days, though. The UK saying, I never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a Frenchman. How about side by side with a friend? I... I could do that. And this was literally the force those two had to see to finally put their rivalry aside. And not only once, but they had to do it twice for the German Empire. These two Lord of the Rings characters are like the perfect personification of those countries. Like, obviously France are elves. It all makes sense now. And then, yeah, UK, the, the dwarf, yeah. Both Russia and France agreeing to sell off their vast swaths of American territory to the US for incredibly cheap, because why not? It's not like the Americans are ever going to be a real force. I mean, you got to 
kind of give it to Russia. They just kind of saw it as like a barren tundra. I mean, Alaska, it kind of is that. But dang, France, that was a lot of valuable stuff. This is what happens when you really, really need some quick cash. You end up selling way too much territory to the Americans. World War One veterans saying, if you look past the gas, weather, rats, artillery, and filthy conditions, the war was kind of fun. The amount of World War One interviews that I've seen where the people actually say, oh yeah, I kind of had a blast during that whole time period. Kind of haunting. Probably just goes to show conditions in general living as a human back in the 19th century wasn't that great. They probably just didn't have a whole lot to do. What would you choose? A girlfriend, she exists. Or a 75 millimeter 1897 cannon. It can deliver 15 rounds per minute up to about 8,500 meters. Remember, girlfriends only exist temporarily. Cannons are eternal. America, literally 200 years ago. Let's rename this place Freedonia. Okay, fine, fine, USA it is. If they actually did this, I think we would be called the Freeds, the people of Freedonia. Man, that is lame. The Philippines being colonized by the Spanish for 300 years. So, uh, that means you guys speak Spanish then, right? No, 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 I think they are, uh, very sadly mistaken. How did the Philippines somehow manage to resist this? Literally every single place that Spain touched ended up becoming Spanish speakers. Even the tiny territory of Equatorial Guinea, but you'll see there's a severe lack of Filipino islands labeled on this map. Philippines literally said, we're not going to speak Spanish, but we will have Spanish last names. Take it or leave it. What's interesting is in Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, there are a lot of Spanish borrowed words, but yeah, still not enough. So how do we fool the German bombers to not drop their bombs to our capital? Why not build a fake capital? Yo, this is absolutely genius. This makes so much sense. Why didn't I think of that before? First time time in Russia? Asked Gorbachev, the former Soviet Union leader. No, second, but the first time I only made it to Stalingrad. And apparently this is an actual quote. Um, this was said in, in real life. Obviously that is a German man. He was the West German prime minister. Those German politicians sure are something else. The literal president of Estonia. I am the president of Estonia. Meanwhile, the Soviet psychiatric hospital workers. Obviously Estonia was under the Soviet Union at this time, but, um, um, this man was still considered the president. He was put in a psych ward for that, though. Please, God, let me be born into a powerful family. Congrats, Mrs. Kennedy. It is a baby boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, the baby got his wish, but at what cost? He's now in a very cursed family. China has no record of attacking other states, says this guy. Meanwhile, Korea, Vietnam, and India. Am I a joke to you? I'm gonna assume this had to have been taken out of context. Like, really? out of context because China's been around for a long time. He had to have said the PRC. I mean, even with that, it's just like a really, what is the statement? Historically, I mean, China just, yeah. You can also add Tibet and Russia to this list. You can also add China themselves. China loves fighting China. The golden age of peace and prosperity or fighting the most bloody civil wars known to man. Pretty much all of Imperial China and not even just Imperial China, just China. We could drop the Imperial part. It was just constantly going back and forth really, really fast. But you know what? You can also apply this to Rome. People today, look at how subtle and refined this ancient Greek statue is. Meanwhile, the people in ancient Greece, what do you think needs more color? If my eyes aren't vomiting, then it needs more color. I mean, who could look at this and say it's done? Of course it needs all the color in the world. Someone insults or laughs at Diogenes. Meanwhile, Diogenes, I'm about to pee on this man. And that's pretty much the way to end another guy's entire career. I think it's still kind of the way you can end another man's entire career. Don't do that. When you win by 230,000 votes in a country with only 15,000 voters. Uh, yeah, this guy is just a little bit too good. He is so popular, people that aren't even a part of the country themselves came to the country to vote for him. That's impressive. Developers, the game is balanced. Meanwhile, the game. Okay, so it's not super balanced, but it doesn't look too, uh, wait a second. Uh, okay, maybe it's not, uh, okay, uh, well, it, okay, all right. I guess I have to admit it, it's it's pretty it's pretty unbalanced. This was probably the single biggest mess around and find out in history. It was like the entire world was bored and just decided to do a little bit of trolling on Iraq. The problem is when everyone gets involved in the little bits of trolling, it actually becomes a whole lot. Perfectly balanced gameplay there. Western Europe in 1945. The war is finally coming to an end. Meanwhile, in Eastern Poland. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be you know like some aftershocks a bit. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, World War II was pretty crazy. There was gonna be a lot of aftershocks. Pharaohs in 2500 BC, downgrading themselves from being actual gods to just being the sons of actual gods. I too am extraordinarily humble. I'd be pretty humble myself too if I knew one day I was gonna turn into a potato. When you want to please your Hungarian guests with a nice cake, but these people don't even want to taste it. Yeah, uh, never give your Hungarian guests um, the old borders of Hungary. They will never want to touch it ever again. Uh, you know, I, I see the sentiment like you think it would make them happy. I think it just probably triggers some PTSD. They don't look that big anymore. At last, says the British, my metal creation lives. Hello, world. Robot, I am your supreme leader and your creator. You are my supreme leader. You will do everything I say. I will do everything. Everything you say now pay taxes frick you and that is how your robot throws a bunch of tea into the ocean I completely forgot for a time there colonial America's flag was literally just this I mean to be fair This was still pretty early in the colonialism days They probably didn't care to give it like a cool flag I mean there was a part there for a time that didn't even have the Union Jack in the corner They were really like not creative at all with this some truly non-credible stuff was tested during WWE one These are helmets and body armor in modern warfare during this time sir why the cap how else will they know I'm an officer yo yo my dude I don't even know what this is is, is this us uh, for the stomach I mean obviously it's for the stomach but why does it look like it's bulging out okay we literally have like the 1920s version of a Darth Vader mask with this this looks like a stormtrooper that doesn't look that bad I would not be surprised if Daft Punk once performed with these masks on Man, they were just giving everything a shot weren't they that looks literally invincible the virgin 3rd century BC Roman versus the Chad 3rd century AD Roman what are you, a bird? Small spear equals small, possibly other things. Rar, scary lion, mad face. No artwork on the shields. Inferior Celtic helmet design. Meanwhile, large spear. Goal's gonna get gone. Forehead protected. Chin protected. Shield covered in a bunch of artwork. No need for leg protection because this is a massive shield. Sturdy boots for navigating piles of bodies. Snazzy racing tripes as well to enhance speed. I don't know why I just always assumed the Romans always looked like 3rd century AD, I guess. I was severely mistaken. This outfit is totally not fabulous. Big thanks to my patrons. I have cloned Drew and I'm now training him to fight the imposter doing these videos. Subscribe to Drew John now. Denver. Australia is I real. Am I am not a, a, a fat, no nor is Argentinian grandpa. Grandpa. Yeah. Amateur archaeologist. Inquisitor. Jerry's no is this girl. Lugs and Patrick's team. Robert. The Ride the Pirate. The Mexican. And why am I doing this?